Adams doing somebody. It's Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. Oh, Merry Christmas first and foremost, everybody. And for anybody that doesn't celebrate this occasion, I'll love you, thank you, and bless you in uh, whatever form that's appropriate. I just love everybody, and this is a good time of year, and it's always great to get in touch with these kinds of things. So I wanted to do a show on uh, love and thought transmissions because I've had some interesting things in my own personal life, and I've been like, really paying a lot of attention to what they are, how they're playing out, what what I was I what was I doing at the time, and kind of what how you know what happened after, right? I was doing it this way, and then I changed this, and then here's what happened, right? So the way this kind of played out, and I'm just gonna play this over a little bit without getting totally terribly specific, as everybody knows. But again, it's in the past, so it's a little easier to talk about. But I was in one of those phases, like many of us, right, where uh, I was just frustrated, a little bit frustrated. I had a couple things pop into my world that's like one of those that just ignites doubt, right? It happens from time to time. And uh, this was a pr- particularly good one. I was impressed. And uh, having a hard time really kind of getting back to that, hey, everything just feels great kind of thing. It was more of a, this kind of sucks. And I feel like I need to do something. I need to make a decision so it affects them. And even though I'm never going to tell them, it's just going to happen, right? Right. So you start going through all these dialogues and you start dancing in your head in bad ways, right? And it's just now it's starting to become like a dark movie, right? And it's just not good, right? And you're, you're like, ah, and I'm, you catch yourself and you're like, okay, need to think positive thoughts, blah, blah, blah. And you get to a point where you're like, all right, I'm okay, but I don't like love this person as deeply as I did. I feel like there's this missing piece to our connection, right? And I was, wasn't sure why or how, or what was the way to get that fixed. It was something I was like very conscious of. Like I said, I was like, huh, what do I, okay, what have I been doing? And I realized a lot of it was, um, again, Putting some negative thoughts. You talk to a friend that maybe says something that they uh, that gets you going in a negative direction, right? Because they're not totally supportive of this, but you want to talk to them anyway, and you have that discussion, and then you walk away very frustrated and now confused because you were so like sure you knew what you were doing, but now your friend who has no knowledge of law of attraction doesn't care, thinks it's hooey, thinks it's voodoo and hoodoo and uh, woo-woo, I think they sometimes call it. Um, so you listen to them, and all of a sudden you're like, ah, and then you walk away, and you're like, well, I don't really believe them, but whatever they said still stung, right? So there's times when things like that happen, whatever it is. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's family, maybe it's just our own doubts, right? Because we sent a text message and nothing happened. And that was my point, is that's kind of how this played out. And the, after feeling this way and getting this kind of thing, because, you know, her and I would do our little texting here and there, right? Just normal-ish. And it was one of those where I did it, didn't get a response. It's like, meh. And then like the next day, I did another one. Kind of cool. I feel like I'm kind of not forcing it. I mean, it was legit, but I feel like taking it up a notch, kind of being extra sweet, extra special, really like, what's going on? And then even did a third one. Got no response. And it was just like one of those where it's like, ah, whatever. Ah. You know, I was even more frustrated. Just like all of us. Uh, every one of us goes through this. I'm like, okay, so here's the deal. Here I am. I'm in the same situation as many, many people. Thank, thankfully, it's always awesome when, when we get to you know, constantly keep some of these things active in our lives. But it's just how it is, and it's good. It's good practice for me. And I'm looking at myself, and I'm like, okay, so this is what's active right now, right? You're, you're getting the no text message thing. You're trying really hard. And you're basically just like, you want to just say, screw it and throw your hands up. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's basically what's going to happen. And then you start walking down the path of screw this. And, uh, I, you know, like if I'm just going to find out this isn't working out and that's going to be great. I'll just move on with my life. Finally. Right. This is all the things you're spinning in your head. Like, uh, forget it. She doesn't really care. She's blah, blah, blah. Right. All these things. We spin them all. And fortunately I'm like, okay, I'm going out with this whole letting go thing with this kind of feeling. Because I'm frustrated. I don't understand what's going on. Like I said, I'm in this negative rut. Someone kind of got this spark thrown in me. And it, 
And then all of a sudden, all these bad things were happening. She wasn't texting. She wasn't whatever. Now, again, in reality, she's probably just busy. She's got things going on. They were sweet. She loved them. She wishes I did this more, probably. And, and, and in reality, the way I'm receiving it is she's not texting back. So this must mean this. And I was, I've done shows on how the second we start figuring out for them makes it very challenging because most of us now are projecting ourselves outward. The second we start saying, well, they must mean this is what this must mean. Like now all of a sudden, our fears and darkest secrets are coming to the surface and creating this reality that we believe exists. So again, no text messages. Here's where I'm at with it. I'm frustrated, just like all of us. And I'm like, mm, forget it. I don't care. I don't want to be with her. I don't really care. I just, I'm just looking to kind of make sure that this is proven to me so I can just move on. Like, I just need a little something. Just give it to me. I'm finally ready. Give it to me. And I'll move on with my life. That's when I heard that Jason Mraz song that I've talked about, Love Somebody. I'm still, I just listened to it again today. I just, it made me tear up. I, the song is just crushing me right now in a, such a powerful way, and I love it. But that song did just that for me. Now, it's the words. It's about love. It's just such a beautiful song. So if anyone's in love, I love somebody. Jason Mraz, M-R-A-Z. Great song, man. And the video is really cool. They're all just in white, and they're just dancing. And it's like the drummer chick just, oh, anyway, it's awesome. Um, so, yeah, that song really just got me thinking about my SP. Got me thinking love. Got me thinking about my love. Someone commented on this one time. She's like, why don't you call her that? So she is my love. She's I, she's my everything. She is, she is like the greatest dream that I ever even once tried to dream. She is beyond what I ever thought was even possible. She is... A shooting star that I am grabbing hold of. It's so it's an amazing, amazing thing. So it made me think of her <laughs> and the level of love that I felt with her was off the charts. And that's just, you know, it's felt it feels like that whenever I think about her, but it was it had been a while, right? I've been going through all this frustration, all this negative stuff. This person put that horrible thing in my face. And uh so bam, I'm like feeling the feeling again. I'm feeling the love for her in that huge, like when I see her kind of way. And it was literally within like a day and a half of that feeling the first time after all the frustration, after not like letting go, but not really having that love, that connection and letting go frustrated, which by the way, love still brought us back. It's kind of funny how the universe works, right? This song popped in because I was doing a show and the way it touched me. And then now all of a sudden, right, a day and a half later, boom, text message. Beautiful. Text her back. Recently got a response. Just everything's normal again. Everything's normal again. The second I reconnected. So again, I was talking about thought transmissions, this bridge I've talked about. When we're frustrated, that bridge is not good. When we're in love, that bridge, they feel it profoundly. It affects their reaction. When it's negative, it affects their reaction in the opposite direction. I got no text messages either. They didn't respond back to me either because I was frustrated. I was grumpy. I didn't understand why she wasn't texting me back. I was making up all sorts of things when in reality, seriously, the time of year, the level of busy, all the things that she manages, I know she's busy. I have no doubt she's busy. And it's one of those things where I know she reads these messages because they're not huge. They're short, a couple sentences, three sentences, right? But they're really sweet and they're nice. Usually, usually I try to. Uh, and they're just short and sweet, and I know she reads them, and it's just like, I feel her connected. It's beautiful, and I know she loves them. She's told me this. So, yeah, she didn't have time. There's been times where she's meant to and just never gets around to it. it yeah, it's okay. And I, I know a lot of people have opinions around this. There's, there's a lot to it, so please, just, it's cool. It's, it's cool. I love where it's at. I think it's perfect how it is. I'm not in any hurries. But we're all in the same boat. And like I said, the second I connected that energy, the second I connected back the love, the second I did, that powerful bridge begins again, connects, and grabs hold of them in a very profound, positive way. We wish to manifest our specific someone in many cases, or love in general in many cases. 
the level we're radiating at, the level we're loving from, that connection that is not of the frustration, not of the anger, not of all that. And I know there's people going to be like, oh, I know I'm angry and frustrated. How do I fix that? Again, we've got other videos. You can ask in comments. I'll try to figure out which ones they are. But, or you can search. Lots of videos. Done lots of stuff on all these subjects. But this is kind of new material with the thought transmission. And it's beautiful stuff from the standpoint of the power of coming with that. Like, if you can get to a place where you can just think about when you first met them, maybe. Like, some moment, some time. Some, just the them. A lot of people that aren't angry with their people, it's pretty easy. You just think of them. And you really can just imagine being and holding and hugging and just like the feelings that come with that. And you can pretty much drum up some pretty powerful feelings. If there's frustration in there, ah, it gets a little trickier. So you might need to figure out a way to either A, get rid of the frustration. That's a problem anyway, just saying. Uh, or B, um, find some way to love them so much it actually burns through the frustration. Another way to get rid of the frustration. You know, burn through it. Find something. You remember, you know, your first day you kissed or something. I don't know. Something that was profound before... You know, the wheels came off, the wagon and everything. We're like, oh, God, that was horrible. Um, so, you know, find something good. Focus on that. Mm, get that feeling back up. It is powerful, and it makes a huge difference in the reality that we have. Like I said, the second I finally got that back, we're back to normal. Normal. Everything's good now. Like, it was like that was back to normal. I text, I get something back, and it's, you know, as long as I'm not abusing it, and that's pretty much how it works out right now. It's cool. I'm busy too, frankly. But I just, yeah, I'd love to talk to her. Like, I'd love to have her sitting over here and not filming this, frankly. One of the reasons why I'm curious sometimes. But again, these things are all happening for all of us. We have to keep focused, keep thinking, keep loving, keep working on ourselves, keep being worthy. That's been another thing I've, you know, I was just thinking about that today. I brought tears to my eyes also. And I'm like, I feel like I am finally worthy, but I certainly wasn't. And I've said that before. And that was a, that was a, I remember when I wasn't worthy and I am now. And it's very, um, very, very interesting how that's played out and how that's changed things too. So again, all these things, self-reflection, Look at how you're feeling about what you're doing. Realize you're creating a bridge, a thought bridge, as I like to call it, but also it's a thought transmission. You are transmitting your energy when you think of someone, anyone, even the teller at the, the, the checker at the grocery store. When you think of them, there is a bridge that's connected between you two. If they sort of know you, you might pop into their head in some weird sort of way. But, you know, again, whether they consciously know it or not, it doesn't matter. The higher self always does. The, the larger part of us are super conscious, whatever part of us, the id, the ego. I don't know what part of it, super ego. I don't know what part. I'm not a psychologist and I don't want to be one because they're crazy. If I play one on TV someday, who knows? We'll see. But again, what you're putting out is what we're getting back. Keep these things in mind when we're having feelings and emotions about someone we'd like to be back together with. If you're angry, frustrated, that's not helping in a bad way. It's kind of hurting. Help find a way to love again. Feel that vibration. Create that thought bridge that is awesome. They react in a very profound, beautiful kind of way. And truly, things start moving in the direction, again, that it was supposed to be and originally was moving for you. Hopefully, this helps. I don't know. Uh, love and thought transmission and all that grooviness. Going out with a Billy Joel song. It's all about soul. Stan Radio style. It's all about soul. It's all about faith and a deeper devotion It's all about soul Cause under love is a stronger emotion She's gotta be strong Cause so many things getting out of control She'll drive 